Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we slash I have not made a vlog in a very long time. I don't even remember the last time. <laughs> You made that one with Alex, talking about Animal Crossing. Yeah, over a year ago probably. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, but now we're in Portland. Ooh, we're traveling. And when we travel, we have more things to talk about. We're intrepid. Yeah. <laughs> My word of the trip. Mm -hmm. We can talk about cliches in shoujo manga. Okay, we have to give background. So the reason that we're talking about this, or the reason that it's on our mind, is because we're staying in a very nice Japanese inspired little house. So, and it was so cute that instead of going out and experiencing <laughs> the Portland nightlife, we wanted to stay in last night and read shoujos together. Yeah, and we sort of did a shoujo exchange yeah. in a sense because I read high school, high school debut a long time ago and I wanted Dana to read it, and so she started that. And then Dana and a bunch of other Peloton pals read. Me, Sarah, Erica, and Amanda yeah. have read Hiranaka no Ryusei, which is Daytime Shooting Star. <laughs> and of course I started, and within the first like two chapters I'm like, this is ridiculous, so stupid, there's so many <laughs> cliches. And then like the next chapter I'm totally sucked in. Mm -hmm. but That's usually what happens. I think I have the same kind of thing with shoujos where I usually don't like them because a lot of them are really predictable and cliche. And they're things that wouldn't really ever happen in real life, or yeah. at least not to the extent that it happens in shoujo manga. Mm -hmm. And then the worst is when in the shoujo manga, the main girl is like, I read all these shoujos. And then she's yeah. like, this will never happen in a shoujo. And it's like, this, I'm reading the shoujo right now. Yeah. And it gets weird. It but, does. Um, but the first shoujo cliche is the head pat for me at least like it's so ridiculous and it's like when the guy and the girl are interacting and you see the really close up of both of their faces in shock with like the sparkles around them and they're like looking at each other um and then like the guy looks like he's about to kiss her and then in the next frame it's like him going like pat <laughs> and then it's supposed to be like super cute and you're like oh you tapped her on the head but it's stupid <laughs> and then going along those same lines one of the shoujos. <laughs> I didn't read that many shoujos, so I don't think that I I've have read quite a few. I don't think I know that many common themes besides like the bubbles and the fact so many sparkling <laughs> bubbles and the fact that it usually takes like fifteen chapters for them to start dating, and then fifteen more chapters for a kiss, or sometimes even fifteen chapters just to hold hands. But anyway, I think one of the ones that I really like. <laughs> it's the head on the shoulder. Oh my where gosh. The girl, where the girl is crying and then the and the guy just like grabs her. <laughs> like, Don't or worry. or the reverse or the reverse where like the girl's super shocked when the guy rests his head on her shoulder yeah, he's, and he's like, just let me be here for a second. Yeah. And, like let me pretend. And she's like, oh my god. <laughs> And the other cliche is when the main girl, who's supposedly like not interested in men, and she's like only interested in like either her studies or like making friends or whatever. And of course, every single guy in the fucking manga falls in love with her. And she's and she's never like into her appearance. And there's always that really pretty bitchy girl who she ends up friends with, and it turns out she has a heart of gold. I remember I was taking this English class once, and we talked about the it's kind of a social contract that you make when you start reading a book. So like. In the Hunger Games, you kind of make a social contract that, like, well, this probably won't happen in real life, but for the sake of enjoying the story, I'll just pretend that it actually is possible. So, <laughs> I feel like, at least for me, I kind of really like cliches. Shoujo social <laughs> Because when I start reading shoujos, I'm just like, alright, this is really stupid, and this would never happen, and this happens in every <laughs> single shoujo ever, but it's still really cute, and I still really like it. It's like <laughs> it a Sarah Dessen novel. Did you ever read the Sarah Dessen books? I never books? read teen fiction. <laughs> For those who did, Sarah Dessen wrote so, so many books, and she's still writing books, and most of them follow the same plot line, except for a couple, but you couldn't not read them, except for Dana. So it's kind of like that. Um, but there are definitely some shoujos that I think are better than others. And I usually think that when the main character is a sort of like independent, I do what I want type, which is pretty common. But I also think that you can tell the difference between a main character who's ready to like not care what other people think and a main character who 
sort of turns into someone you don't like, where you're, where she used to be independent, and then at a certain point she's only doing things to progress the storyline between her and the guy, as opposed to just like her doing her own thing. Like I think a really good heroine is like Haruhi in <laughs> or in High School Host Club because <laughs> at, there's no point where she stops doing what she wants to do in order to pursue a guy. She just keeps doing what she wants to do the whole time. So I think that that's, she's a good like shoujo role model. Mm, back to more tropes. <laughs> well, there are so many. Oh, the, the trip guy, where the, the guy's ex-girlfriend comes back into the picture mm -hmm. and the girl who likes him is like, oh man, he still loves his ex-girlfriend when he, he never said that and he never did anything. <laughs> Sometimes he gets back together with her, but usually he's like, I don't care for her anymore, but she just takes it so far and is like, oh, they love each other, but they're going to get married. And then she ends up running away and he chases her. And <laughs> Oh my god, and then there's the, there's always, always a part where they're on a school trip and someone gets lost or falls down a cliff. <laughs> and the guy always goes and saves her. She like faints or for whatever reason that happened in Oral. Well, there has to be some kind of rescue scene. Yeah. And then they, the girl like wakes up or like opens her eyes for a moment and he's like glittering and he's like, are you okay? <laughs> I don't think this is true for all shoujos, but I think that a couple of them, it's kind of like... Well, the main plot is a guy and a girl, and they're trying to get together. Like, what could possibly go wrong? How, like, <laughs> how am I going to keep them apart? And Every sometimes, time. sometimes it becomes some really weird, like, crazy yeah. shit is happening. Like, I read one where the main guy was, like, he's a super computer hacker, so then the government, like, gets all into their business, and they keep kidnapping the girl. <laughs> It's like, what's going on? And then sometimes the guy is like the heir to a really rich and famous empire and they're like, you can't soil our blood with this normal high school girl. Oh my god. <laughs> that or the guy is, is like super rich and he starts off being like, I can never like you. You're such a peasant. And yeah. then I end up falling in love with them. <laughs> that happens a lot. That happens a lot in um, manhwa, like Korean uh, manga or Korean comics, I feel like it's always like a really poor destitute girl <laughs> who like is living in poverty and then the prince or whatever will be like, oh, that peasant girl and then they end up like pursuing them and the girl's like, I don't care about money, I care about personality and then they end up together because he ends up being a great guy. Yeah, I feel like usually the girl is, I think at first the girl is always like, oh, he's out of my league or the, or the guy's the most popular guy in school. Or the girl's like, I hate his guts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you can never you can never start out with them liking each other. Yeah, because that would just be too obvious. <laughs> that would be too easy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like other shoujo I read and like some things that happened. I, I mean I guess I haven't read that much. I think actually I think my first manga was a shoujo, but it wasn't. Is Ranma shoujo? Yeah, Ranma was my first manga. Mine so too. It, it's Weird. kind of <laughs> whoa. It's kind of shoujo, but it's also definitely very shonen. It's like a mix. It's mm -hmm. a great sort of perverse manga. I don't know it's why it was. I don't know why it was our first manga. <laughs> it's a great series. It and is. Yeah, is so unique. It's it so is. Much, it has so much more unique ideas than most mm -hmm. other series. I think. Akane is another character like Haruki, who's like, I like Rama, but fuck him if he's gonna get in my way. <laughs> Whereas, whereas I think that's the difference. Kagome, I feel like, at a certain point, becomes like really dependent on Inuyasha and loses some of her independence. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I like Akane so much. Yeah. 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 I think we should start a new series. I like this. Discussing manga. Hair, no, hairnet vlogs. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. It could be us being nostalgic about things with hairnets on. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so... <laughs> that's that. <laughs> Clearly... If Clearly we need to script our videos, because <laughs> these sort of just go way off. Well, if you haven't read Ranma, you should mm -hmm. pick it up and try to read it. If you haven't read High School Debut, you should also pick it up and read so it. Good. And if you haven't read Hira Naka no Ryusei, you should also read it. So... They're all really good. Yeah. And High School Debut and Daytime Shooting Star are both really short. Mm-hmm. Rama's not. Yeah, Rama's really long, but it's really funny. And like I said, if you start reading it and then you have to take a really long break and you come back, then... Yeah, Rama's really easy to pick back up. Yeah. Um, 
I guess next time I'll talk about Naruto because I'm rereading it from the beginning. That'd be interesting. Because it got wrapped up. To have yeah. like a real discussion about Naruto mm-hmm. from the beginning. I'm ready to have a real discussion about Naruto. Well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until then. Bye. Bye.